What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're reacting to Kura Kura lyrics color coded. I just reacted to Twice's music video for this song and there were no subtitles. So usually I don't react to these um, lyric videos cause there isn't much to see obviously, like I'm just reading most of the time. But since there were no subtitles on the music video I reacted to, I kind of actually really wanted to know what the lyrics were so we're reacting to this video today if you're new to the channel make sure you follow me on instagram and subscribe for more content but without further ado let's check out this video it's always mina with the english lyrics bro It's filled 24-7, okay. Aw. No matter what I do, I fail over and over. Mm. Okay, Momo. We've lost ourselves in passion when I'm with you. Okay, so Kura Kura means dizzy. Hold on, this is going way too fast. It's like magic, babe. Mm. Okay. Can't predict my trembling heart. Damn, so they're saying like their love is like magic. I wonder, who, who are these guys that they're singing about? These are the luckiest guys in the world. Like, what the hell? Those eyes, that smile, those hands. Who's touching up on you? Damn. Said I've always wanted you and I'm getting restless. Uh, the feeling when our eyes met wasn't a misunderstanding. <laughs> Mina, bro, let me hear that again. Mina's voice is so smooth. Oh. Mesmerized. I love that word. It's so like, especially to say that like someone's love is mesmerizing to you. I feel like that's a really big like compliment. I don't know if it's much of a compliment, but if a girl were to say like, Damn, Ryan, your love is so mesmerizing. I'd be like, I would feel like a king, you know? That was kind of stupid. Never mind. <laughs> uh, it's like magic. Their messages in their songs are always so, like, metaphorical, though. It's nice. Those eyes that smile, those hands and words. See, I'm not really understanding, um, Jung Yun's part of the, of the music video. Because she was, like, stuck in a box, but the lyrics are saying, like, she's basically, like, praising a guy or, like, talking about a guy. Or girl, or girl, I mean, I, you don't know, but I'm not, I would think that like she's singing about something more of like her feeling trapped emotionally, I guess, but I don't know if that's supposed to be um, like, but I don't know if the box that she's like stuck in is supposed to be like a metaphor itself because she was on that hiatus and like maybe emotionally she was feeling trapped. Like, not about love, but about um, the anxiety that she was going through. I wonder if Sana is, like, singing to the guy on the phone in the music video. And Mina, like, she broke the wall. And Chewie was drowning, like... You're just losing control of your own body, like trying to kill yourself or something. Chill out, homies. Mm. 
I mean, I don't speak Japanese, but if I were to like hear them speaking to me in these words, I would think they're fluent in Japanese. Like to me, it just like I said, like I don't really know like what an accent would sound like with someone speaking in Japanese, but they sound really good singing in Japanese. It's really cool how like, hold on. Ah, okay. It's cool how like they they successfully like enter the Japanese market so much that they're making like Japanese music, you know what I mean? Pretty sure they're trying to like westernize their music too cuz um no they have like an English version of I can't stop me. Which honestly, I don't think a lot of people listen to. I definitely like the Korean original one better. But I can see what they're trying to do. This part doesn't sound like Sana. Magic. What is this? Oh, maybe that was just the, the ending. But okay, okay, so from what I heard or read, the lyrics are basically saying like, lost control of my emotions or my feelings for this person or these people that they're talking about. A lot of it is definitely like metaphorical, especially with the music video showing how like Momo's walking through like a, a doorway or a mirror, I think it was, and then she just turns into a flower petals. Like, I think, it's kind of hard for me personally because I'm just stupid like I'm not good at deciphering those kind of things by just seeing it but looking at the lyrics and then seeing the music video like I, I guess like the connections definitely are tying together it's definitely not one of their best songs but I mean it's still good you know what I mean especially since like they're not all fluent in Japanese so I'm, I'm very impressed very very impressed but I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. If you did, be sure to click on that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.